this very special luncheon today to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the Korean War ceasefire. On behalf of all veterans in attendance today, I thank the Consul General for his very kind gesture. Thank you, sir. Regrettably, within those 70 years, in the past, age has caught up with the veterans. Most have passed on to the maker, unfortunately. Also, many of those who are left are not in good health or are too fragile to attend the special occasion here today. I pass on to you, Council General, their apologies. Thank you. Although 70 years has elapsed since the ceasefire was signed, we are still seeing other countries in turmoil and being attacked by their larger neighbour countries. Like the invasion of the Republic of Korea in 1950, Russia has invaded the smaller country of Ukraine and caused huge loss of life and destruction of the country's infrastructure. The huge destruction in Ukraine today is similar to that that excuse me, the Republic of Korea infrastructure suffered during the Korean War. It is pleasing to note that the Republic of Korea government 
to supporting the people of Ukraine and providing both humanitarian and financial aid to the country. In addition, when the President of the Republic of Korea visited the Ukraine recently, he offered additional humanitarian and financial support to the country. I hope that when this war ends, the Ukrainian government will be able to emulate the Republic of Korea in repairing their infrastructure and rise back to be a successful economic country like the Republic of Korea. From the destruction caused by the Korean War, the Republic of Korean government, with the support of the Korean people, have built their country to the degree that today the Republic of Korea is one of the world's leading economic and trading countries. It is my view that the people and the government of the Republic of Korea have every right to be very proud, to be a very proud nation for their part in the post-war reconstruction of the Republic of Korea. Thank you. New Zealand is officially a nation of independence. 6천 명의 뉴질랜드 젊은이들이 6.25 전쟁에 참전하였고 그 과정에서 45분이 전사하는 등큰 희생이 있었습니다. 오늘날에도 12분의 뉴질랜드 장병들이 주한유엔군 사령부에서 대한민국의 평화를 위해 옹호 중에 있습니다. 대한민국 정부와 국민은 뉴질랜드 장병의 희생과 헌신에 무한한 감사와 경의를 표합니다. 오늘 대한민국 정부는 32명의 뉴질랜드 참전 용사들을 포함하여 2320명의 유엔 참전 용사들이 잠들어 계신 부산 유엔 기념 공원을 찾아 추모의 옷을 바칩니다. 이어 저녁에는 대임 신드 키로 뉴질랜드 총독님을 비롯해 22개 유엔 참전국의 정부 대표단이 참석한 가운데 정전 70주년 기념식을 개최할 예정입니다. 국가보건부는 수많은 유엔 참전용사들이 피와 땀으로 지켜낸 자유민주주의 승리의 역사가 미래 세대에 온전히 계승될 수 있도록 최선을 다하겠습니다. 